Hi all, I have a very entertaining game to show you by David Grosvenor on his Fast and Furious 40 moves per 2 minutes with a 2 second increment per move. Let's have a look. It's Leela ID 31887. The Leela Test 30 network has been making continual progress over the last few days. It's very interesting to see if it can actually overtake the classic 10 network which still remains the king of Leela's. Uh, so let's have a look at this. So Leela against Stockfish 10 here. E4, C5. The opening book given is this position, which is the advanced French defense variation. We have Bishop E2, Knight G, E7. Knight A3, A6. Knight C2. C takes, C takes. And you may have been wondering... Well, I have been wondering why players actually play like this in this elaborate way to protect d4. Uh, and it seems on the surface a bit passive, doesn't it? Because although you have two knights defending, uh, what are you actually going to do after? So white castles, queen b6. Well, it seems here, Lila is not going to play uh, something like b3 or rookie one, but actually plays bishop d3 and this is actually quite tactically fascinating just from an opening trap perspective if nothing else so why isn't d4 available for taking here is this some deep opening trap uh, black actually played a5 let's have a look here so if knight f takes d4 let's cho choose the f knight knight takes this it's important that the f knight recaptures here this position Bishop e3, bishop c5, bang, b4, because the c2 knight is helping to play b4 here. This is a big advantage for white. Uh, on knight takes c2, we can slip in bishop takes c5, of course, and then win the knight after. Uh, so it seems here, yeah, if we took with this knight, it just doesn't uh, work. Black is actually getting away with it. The bishop d7 move is stopping any naughty checks. This is just black gaining a pawn. So it's important to take with the f knight. Uh, and okay, so we have the move a5, which seems to prevent the b4. So isn't this pawn on now? In fact, <laughs> Leela plays king h1. And believe it or not, this pawn is still, it's not able to be captured, despite b4 being suppressed. Black played rook c8. If knight c takes d4, knight takes, knight takes, there's bishop e3. And on bishop c5, you'll note here that rook c1, and knight takes f3 is not with check, because the king's moved. And black is an unfortunate pin here basically uh, going to be because of rook takes c5 crunching uh, so if rook c8 rook sorry knight takes here let's examine rook c8 first in fact there's another possibility for white here knight takes rook takes c8 check and then bishop takes d4 and we're back to the standard trap that we've all seen perhaps before well most many of us pardon me many of us have seen before check and then you win the queen uh, so Let's have a look again, though, at this position. So we had knight c takes d4. Knight takes d4, knight takes bishop e3. Uh, bishop c5, rook c1. So on knight takes f3 here, we just have bishop takes c5. Um, on knight f takes d4, let's use this knight instead. We have... Bishop e3, bishop c5, knight takes, knight takes. Again, it's the, it's the same kind of thing, actually. Uh, okay, so rook, rook c8 is played. And now you might think, surely, okay, this next move is, is offering the d-pawn again. <laughs> why, why can't it be taken here? Black played knight b4. Uh, let's just run this through again now. Knight f takes d4, bishop e3, bishop c5. Now, rook b1 actually has a purpose in relation to all this business with the move b4 because a takes, there's now bishop takes d4, bishop takes, rook takes b4. 
just winning material and I'm starting to think this is a major trap I should be playing this opening just to play this trap with knight a3 c2 I don't know about you guys but it seems like a major trap uh, situation this rook b1 doesn't it seem tempting for black to take on d4 knight c takes d4 instead of knight f takes d4 uh, we take the f knight um, and it's the same scenario basically we we play this and this and this it's the same scenario so okay okay so knight knight b4 is played now knight takes a takes <laughs> rookie one now <laughs> this is now beyond the joke isn't it why can't the pawn be taken here isn't this isn't this whole bishop d7 giving black the right to take this pawn if you take this pawn here bishop e3 bishop c5 knight takes bishop takes there's a strong move in queen g4 and yes this gives white a big advantage of the bishop takes e3 queen takes g7 this position is a big advantage for white for example uh, we take on b5 we play this it's a very nice position for white so yeah okay aside from the opening trap let's get back to the game now <laughs> So uh, black actually played bishop e7, a4, we have b, b takes a3, if black leaves this pawn on a4 and castles then b3 is comfortable for white, very comfortable, we can kick this knight, we get a kind of free hand over here, uh, so that's, that's a very nice position indeed. So this is taken, b takes, hitting the queen now, the queen moves. Queen e2 uh, and yeah b7 is hanging if knight e4 in these lines so black castles bishop b2 officially protecting the pawn now enough visually it seems h5 h3 we have h4 trying to prevent this g4 kicking the knight off its perch the bishop actually now drops back rook a8 uh, again just just to run this through here just if knight takes queen takes rook takes b7 is strong here and actually white gets really quite a strong position can even sack on g6 and peel open the black king in these lines this is just a very very dangerous line uh, where the black king basically gets mated so yeah you can't can't really do that uh, so we have rook a8 now Leela catches out the light square bishop and we know from Leela games that often it's the dark squares after when we see a move like this we can expect uh, amazing stuff happening on the dark squares. What level of amazingness will be <laughs> will be will be shown here? Let's see. Bishop g5. Bishop takes a3, offering the a3 pawn, of course. Um, on bishop takes, yes, this looks too dangerous to let a knight come here, and there's the queen coming there. So e6 to disrupt any defense first, and then queen comes over there, and it's devastation. As you might expect uh, so yeah doesn't bear thinking about check winning the queen etc carnage so uh, bishop takes a3 we have rook b3 queen a4 queen e3 rook fc8 rook takes b7 queen c6 rook e b1 bishop f8 king goes to h2 rook a1 trying to deflect away from that the protection of that rook rook 1 to b6 queen a4 <clears throat> bishop takes h4 rook c6 um now we have queen g5 rook cc1 this looks dangerous but the king's got g3 of course i mean you might initially think this is dangerous the king actually goes to g3 now in advance rook c3 queen f4 we have bishop c8 rook b8 queen c2 rook b2 queen d3 and things get super interesting here <clears throat> in fact they say pin and win but how far would you go for a pin and win scenario well Leela invests an exchange sack with rook b3 after rook takes plays rook takes c8 getting that pin is this really winning this pin there is a big idea of bishop e7 now so uh here rook c3 is played trying to exchange off that bush uh, that rook if queen e4 then actually yes bishop e7 yes and white's going to be winning material of course and can do so in style like this eventually winning that bishop 
So uh, Rook C3, we have Rook D8, Rook C6, and it looks as though this is now dangerous, isn't it? Wouldn't we be put off by this entire variation? Because actually the king is not seemingly safe anymore because of this Rook G6. <laughs> or at least it's it's not promising, is it? We have Bishop E7 and Rook G6 check. It's isn't it a draw? King H4, Rook H6 check. Okay, here uh, we have <laughs> the king going up. So G5. What is this? You might ask. Check king h5 and now uh, rook h6 check. So, guess what Leela plays here? Okay, okay, yeah, queen sack. Is this really enough? Okay, the queen is uh, sacrificed here, but the king is very advanced, of course. Uh, so, is this how dangerous is this in this particular scenario? It looks very, very dangerous. In fact, bishop takes f8. There looks to be potential mating nets with bishop, knight, and rook coming up. We have king h7, bishop takes h6, and the big threat now is knight g5 checkmate. So the knight is pinned just in time. And now we have the move bishop g5. And here on this fast and furious time control, uh, black actually faced with bishop f6 slips up. Black's best is probably to try for a draw, and that seems to be achievable with rook h1. Uh, for example, bishop f6, rook takes h3 check, and if here, then rook g3 check, and black guarantees itself perpetual check draw in all variations. Check ping comment of this video. It all seems drawn after rook h1, unfortunately. Uh, but this wasn't played, fortunately. On this time control, so here, yeah, if um, G takes, Queen takes, Queen G two check, Queen takes, it's again perpetual check. It's going to be just perpetual check all the time. But F four was played. Now things get fun here. White plays Rook F eight. Yes, Rook F eight is a key move in this position. It seems. This bishop and rook and king, potentially knight, are conspiring very well now. If bishop f6 here, black has rook a8 defending uh, h8, and if takes then queen takes f3 check is a draw by stalemate. The king has been stalemated, no moves for black. So that would be a very, very resourceful draw there. And if we don't take this pawn, uh, this, this queen, uh, then g4. This is check, 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 and yes, perpetual checks. Uh, this position, it doesn't matter now about uh, rook h8, check, there's king g6, it's not mating, and there's going to be checks after it's an even position. But anyway, after rook f8, mm, things are slightly different now. We have rook a6, rook takes f7, check. Rook c7, brilliant piece coordination, and the king is actually an attacking piece now. It really is an attacking piece. Uh, we have king f8, bishop f6, rook e6, and the king unpins the knight now by moving to g6, so the knight is now free to go to g5. Check, king g5, the king goes to e8, and now <laughs> h4. In this position, yeah, the queen's fairly helpless in this particular configuration. What is black actually doing here to stop this h pawn? Queen f1, we have king g6 making way for knight g5 on taking, as an example. Check, yeah, let's have a look at queen takes g2, knight g5, queen here, for example, h5. The h pawn is relentless here, that's the one free thing which black. Can't really handle, and if black, if we get this position, then the queen's lost, for example. So queen b1 check, king g7 going all the way up. The h pawn is going to be herded, it seems. Queen b6 herded up the board. Rook f7, queen a6, knight, knight comes in. f3, this is now desperate. 
on rook takes f6 this is just very desperate now e takes this is very nice for white after check check f7 uh, so this would be easily winning so we have f3 g takes queen d3 f4 rook a6 and um, now h5 yes this h pawn is uh I, I think by the way so you might have been wondering about this rook I think it's to do with stalemate again why this rook can't be taken if Queen g6 this looks remarkably like a stalemate here where black has no move so white has to factor that in uh, so f4 uh, rook a6 h5 rook a1 e6 Queen a3 and the game ended here both sides thought it was absolutely winning. A continuation, for example, rook d7 threatens rook d8 checkmate. Queen f8 is, uh, say queen f8 is played. King g6 check. King goes to f5, rook a8. Now we have check, check, for example, check. And we're mating the king wherever it goes. Here is check mate. Or if the king goes to b8, then it's check mate there so a super fun game slightly flawed because of uh black not finding the key time to draw instead of f4 or k1 but otherwise i thought very entertaining with the king marching up there and celebrating that pin in great style allowing black that seemingly uh very powerful third rank defense but yeah black did slip up on this time control you can have a lot of fun on the faster time controls it seems if you enjoyed this game please click on the top left box which should appear shortly to become a member at chessworld.net play against other youtubers you can also check youtube analysis in advance from the improved menu learn from the masters youtube order button comments questions donations see the description like share subscribe with the notification bell appreciate it also check out the new teespring store in the description for form pawns and other chess t-shirts thanks very much